the destruction caused by four million gallons of crude oil in the Santa Barbara Channel brought the community together and sparked an environmental movement that made waves around the world. I'd go down and pick up dead birds. I had a stack of dead birds that I picked up probably 50 or 100 and stood behind them and had my picture taken with them. People stood there and cried. The community went by the hundreds down to the beach and just stood there and cried. Part of what was coincident with the Santa Barbara oil spill was people walking on the moon, taking photographs of Earth from space and realizing that this is our home, this is our home, this little blue speck in the universe, and that what we do or fail to do here will have consequences, not just now, but will reverberate through the future as well. The level of community involvement and awareness because of the, uh, you know, going back 50 years to when the oil spill first occurred and kind of gave birth to this rise of environmental consciousness that led to actions and organizations and legislation and changed behavior. And I think it influences all of us who live here, that sensitivity to the natural environment, the built environment, and people. When we succeed, you don't really see it because you don't see what would have been. But most of our coastal properties would have been developed with hotels or subdivisions or malls. You see a lot more offshore oil platforms. There's an old picture actually from about 100 years ago of Summerlin of these hundreds of wells and derricks and piers. And I think that's what we would look like. The air quality would be horrible and it would be the result of people not fighting and caring the way that the Santa Barbara community has continuously done for 50, 60 years and more. I've been volunteering for over 35 years. All of us on the team, we have this desire to help. I know that by me responding, I can make a difference. MacGyver is a Australian shepherd. He's a great dog. He'd rather search, work, than eat. I was crossing Oak Creek right when it crested, so probably 3.30, 4 o'clock in the morning, in a Prius, and it immediately filled up with water. I wedged my car up against a tree and squeezed out the window to the roof and grabbed onto the tree, so I am officially a tree hugger. When you have an emergency of, of this extent happening in your community, it's hard to not do something. You want to, but oftentimes I think people feel like, oh, it's just me, what am I gonna do? And Bucket Brigade gave people that outlet. We created Bucket Brigade, and that just triggered an avalanche of response. And 3,000 people have come out, and they spend days just digging out in the mud, helping people. I mean, there's plenty of reason, if a major disaster has occurred, to lose hope. Just the notion that someone gives a crap about your well-being, that someone is trying, that is as important sometimes as what you're doing. It's oppressive, right, without nature, and especially here, and everyone's in recovery mode and building, and there's trucks, and there's, there's just this white noise that's okay. It's us rebuilding, but sometimes you need to get away. We are related to all things. It saddens me and it hurts my heart when we see those relatives washing up on shore, suffocated and, and poisoned. I remember the date because it was my birthday. I got a phone call that there had been an oil spill and my thought was, oh darn, here we go again. A beautiful animal that's immobilized and suffering from being covered in a toxic petroleum that's burning them, it's just, it's heartbreaking. We all feel like we are part of, of an ecosystem, that there's, there's an ecology of our relationships so that what affects one person affects us all in some ways. So when there's a crisis, when someone is in need, that we should all pitch in and help that person. In some very selfish way, I understand that if someone out there is hurting, what affects them directly affects all of us indirectly. We are tied in an inescapable web of mutuality and interdependence. I really like being in a community where we look out for each other and know each other and worry about each other.